Hey guys, it's James from Honest Cigar Reviews, again doing another cigar review. And uh, in front of me I have, uh, well, a couple of cigars I bought today. And I just want to give a shout out to, uh, to Wild Bill's Tobacco Superstore. I think, uh, I think they did a great job. I went in there today, I was browsing around, and you know, sometimes you go into some tobacco stores and they're like, why is he browsing around? And they, they give you weird looks and they're not very helpful. Well, these guys were great, they were really nice. They're really helpful. They let me just kind of ask questions and and uh, take my time. And you know they had a lot of great deals in there too. So definitely check out Wild Bills if you have one. I think they're really nice people. So what did I get? Well, they always give you free matches, so that's great if you run out of butane or whatever. Um, let's see here. More matches. And of course they give you like a bag to keep them fresh, but they also give you, uh, let's see here, what was I going to say, oh yeah, they gave me a uh, cigar case for free, you know, this is a, a big cigar case, and I wasn't expecting it, I don't know if they'll give you one if you buy a cigar or not, but the lady behind the counter get, gave me this, and I was really happy, total surprise, it feels like a faux fake leather here but um, yeah it's little things like this that really make customers happy I think you know so look at that nice and tight in there and uh, just a nice simple flat it's simple but it's very effective and it's gonna be better than using these plastic bags wherever you go so what, what did I get here I got a Padron this is uh, my, I think this is my first uh, not anniversary series Padron. This is a uh, 2000 Maduro here. Let me get this stuff out of the way. Blah. This is a 2000 Maduro. So I thought that was a pretty good deal, 525. I mean, it's not like excellent, but I thought it was pretty good. And then I got this, um, let's see here, Camacho. Let's see here. I never actually had a Camacho. This is a Corojo Toro Natural. So that was a buy one get one deal. And then we had, uh, I never heard of these before. Brutiana? Something like that. So, I figured I'd give it a try. It's good for review. This is the Cetro, I guess. And so yeah, that's what I got. I think this was like $14. So, not a bad deal. Especially when you can, uh, you know, there's no shipping costs and you can get a, uh, a case with it. And I'm also going to be trying some of this, uh, let's see here. This is like apple cider mix I got for my friend's wedding. And my lovely fiance made some uh, pumpkin cookie things. So, yeah, I'll catch you guys soon. Uh, well, wait, wait a minute, which one should I smoke? Oh, God, I don't know. They all look so good to me. Let's try this. Let's try the Britannia. Let's try the Britannia. See you soon. All right. So I chose the the Britannia. I think I said Britannia. I think it's Britannia. Um, sounds like a boat or something. I'm not really sure the history behind that, but I believe these are made by Christoph Cigars, and this is a Dominican cigar. It says, and I believe this is a uh, six inches long by 46 ring gauge. So they would call that a Grand Corona, I believe. So it's just like a Corona in size, except maybe it has an inch or so more in length. But I can tell you what, it's very nice feeling in the hand. Um, I believe this has a USA Connecticut wrapper. It's a beautiful shade of Connecticut. Um, fairly, fairly smooth. Um, extremely tiny veins. I love that about Connecticut wrappers is their veins are so tiny. And um, it smells like a hmm, smells like a stick of cedar with a little bit of tea in it, if, if that makes sense, like a clove kind of tea. Really, just a, a well constructed cigar there. And I think this has an Indonesian binder. I think it said on the website somewhere. And I want to say a Mexican filler. I think it was a Mexican Nicaraguan filler. I think. Not too sure. I can't find a lot of information about this, so that's why I'm smoking it. But uh, yeah, let's get this thing lit up, and I'll catch back with you guys soon. 
Just a quick note before I light it. I just uh, cut the head there and I'm tasting it. And it tastes like a really sugary coating almost. I'm really surprised because I didn't think it was a flavored cigar, but it almost has a sweet sugar coated tip. Just a note there. All right, I just lit her up and uh, she seems to be putting off a moderate amount of smoke. Um, other than that, the, the sweet tip is kind of going away now. But uh, really the flavor is just a, a, probably like a mild bodied creaminess. And uh, just a, you know, again, just a bit of sweetness in the tongue from the, from the wrapper. Really uh, one dimensional so far, but it's only been a few puffs so far. Let's see here. A little bit of earthiness in there. Earthiness is always good. Hmm. Yeah, that's about it, guys. Just a little earthiness, a little creaminess, and just a tiny bit of sweetness. I'll catch back with you maybe an inch down. See you soon. We are back with the Britannia. Britannia. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to butcher that ten more times. Burn is pretty much razor straight. I love the color of the ash as well. I'm going to hope it stays on for another inch or so. Uh, same flavors as before. Let me try it again. Hmm. I'd say just a, again, just a mild creaminess, uh, mild bodied, you know, creaminess, earthiness. There's a tiny bit of spice now in the finish, but it's not like a pepper or anything. It's more of like a, kind of like that clove tea kind of spice or something like that, almost like a licorice, if you will. Um, it's a very natural tasting cigar. This is one of those cigars that would be great for breakfast, I can tell. Um, with some tea or something, you know, it uh, it won't compete a lot with, with I think, with a lot of alcohol. But it's a very friendly uh, aroma as well. I, I like the aroma. It smells like I don't know. It just smells fresh. You know, some cigars they smell like I don't know, pretty thick. This is like a really light smoke almost to it. And uh, yeah, that's about it. I'll catch you guys maybe halfway down. See you soon. I just want to mention real quick before I forget that um, I think I missed a flavor. It's um, it's uh, really buttery actually. Um, I had one of these caramel candy things and it really brought out that flavor for me and I was like, oh that's what I forgot to say. Um, it's almost like it, it lingers, like that buttery oily finish kind of lingers. Even though it's short, I can still like taste it um, with like a little bit of a creamy sweetness. So. Definitely, if you're going to try one of these, maybe try some caramel or something and just watch the, the butteriness kind of explode. That's all. Back again here. Um, the ash fell off uh, somewhere like around here. It, would, it was going to hold on longer, but when I set the cigar down, it rolled right off because we're kind of on a small hill here. But as you can see, it's still holding on great with another ash here. And the burn is relatively straight. Draw is still great. And uh, yeah, pretty much the same flavors. Again, just a little bit of earthiness, a little bit of cream, a little bit of like a buttery, oily finish. Tiny bit of like a clove tingle, which is pretty much the only thing that's really different than like a typical Connecticut. Um, it's still, a, a, I think, a really cool cigar because I don't really get that flavor very often. And this is something for like mild body. It's a, it's a mild body cigar, but it has that tingle, which makes you go, oh, it's different. It's... You know, it's, I don't know, it's hard to describe, but um, it's a pretty cool cigar so far. I'm going to smoke it down to the last third and give you guys a rating then. See you soon. I am back again with the last third here. Um, it did go out on me once, um, probably because I wasn't paying as much attention to it as I should have. But um, I just relit it, kind of purged it a little bit, um, and relit it, and it's going great again so far. Um, I'd say... Now a lot has changed again. You know, it's not a very complex cigar. Um, I did try to Google more information about this, and um, Christoph makes uh, Britannia cigars, uh, but the ones I've seen were all Reservas, and this is not. This doesn't say Reserva. It doesn't look like the ones you see online. So I'm really kind of kind of confused as to what it is. Maybe it was like a Reserva before they made Reservas. You know, uh, either way, I bet it's really similar to a uh, Britannia 
Reserva. Um, so yeah, again, I'm getting a, just a little bit more body to this cigar as we're getting closer to the getting like you know closer to the end here. We're getting a little more heat. Nothing to complain about yet. Um, again, just lots of like a buttery kind of a sugary buttery finish. Um, not a lot of not a lot of nuttiness, but uh, it does have like that that clove thing going for it still. So it's kind of cool. Some people describe the reservas as having like a little hazelnut kind of finish. I don't really detect that in this. Uh, but again, this is not a reserva, so I'm not exactly sure what it is. If you guys can, you know, know, maybe just let me know in the comments or something. But I would rate this, um, I would rate this cigar probably, um, I don't know, it's hard because it's a mild cigar, and I'm, I used to, I'm, you know, I'm used to, you know, medium to full bodied. So I'd probably rate this cigar like a mm, like an 8.7. I think 8.7 on our 10 point scale. Um, yeah, that's about it, guys. I'll let you go. Have a wonderful day. See you soon.